Welcome back, hacktivists, to Splinter Cell Blacklist. Today we're taking on our third campaign mission, which is American Consumption. And it's slayed the start in three hours, so we better get trucking. Also, I installed the DLC, so we have even more side ops, in case you didn't think we had enough. But today, we're going to Dallas, Texas, USA. The aftermath of what may be one of the bloodiest days in American Special Forces history as video showing elite U.S. troops being gunned down by members of the engineers is now available online. Due to its graphic nature, we will not be showing you this video. President Caldwell has vowed to avenge the deaths of those fallen and to continue the fight against terror. But there is skepticism on Capitol Hill about her ability to lead the country through such a crisis. We cross-checked NSA's data with Eland from three other sources. Everything shows Dallas as a target, but nothing specific. Probability points to here and here. Stadium and aquarium. We're all clear to land at Love Field instead of Fort Worth. It'll shave some time when we hit the ground. We'll keep you updated by the second. Any questions? Yeah, why is Charlie pacing? I already told her. So tell me. I pulled the NCTC data on all major U.S. cities to scope out any hits in the no-fly list. What's this? Nothing. A whole lot of it. Chicago TSA was down today. The no-fly registry was offline for a five-hour window. System maintenance, they confirmed. Let him finish. I ran the passenger names of incoming flights against the missing no-fly list manually. Six names popped. Now check this out. Security cam feed from O'Hare Airport. Those six guys left together. I'm not saying it's nothing, but it's not a priority. We have intercepts from multiple agencies confirming Dallas. Totally proves my point. Nobody said shit before Guam. And the last time the engineers barfed info all over the net, a bunch of special forces teams got slaughtered. How far is Chicago if we divert our flight? That's too far, Sam. We only get one chance, and if we come up blank in Chicago, we don't have time to make Dallas. Sam? So way to go, Charlie! Keeping his eyes open and find this very obscure lead for us. You say I'm gonna trust his input and go to Chicago? We're go for Chicago. Of course he is. Just because Charlie sees dots does not mean they connect. The president gave me full authority to run this operation. And she can take it away if you disregard her order to go to Dallas. A direct attack doesn't make sense. Not after what Sadiq pulled in Marawa. What's that? Uh, Chicago SWAT, they're responding to a hostage situation. Get the chopper ready. It's probably just a coincidence, right? Yeah. Schematics say that place is a rat maze. Plus, there's the hostages. Sleeping gas will disable bad guys without hurting civilians, and sticky cams will help with targeting. That's your best bet. Thanks, Briggs. Now, last time we bought our scaly clothes, which make us perfectly stealthy, folks, as you'll see on the screen bar here. There's one more thing I want for this mission, though, and that would be the sticky EMP. These things are fantastic whenever you need a split second or so of darkness. And you just need to get through an area. You gotta move quick, though, because it does pull the attention of all hostiles towards that darkened area. Sam, the kidnappers have been in contact with Chicago PD. Demands? Negative. The only thing they want is to make sure the police steer clear of the area. Why take hostages if you don't want anything? Could be in over their heads. This might not be the idea, Sam. Dallas is still a primary for half the agents. Timer's at zero. We're not turning back now. That's right. We have to check out this place, and hopefully Charlie's right. Now this is a level full of variety, folks. As you can see, we start out in this mall. It has all kinds of little routes you can take, and it also has two Ferris wheels and this unbelievably cheery music for the Christmas season. For the Christmas season. Love that little chop 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 part. That is my favorite. Now, as you can see, the uh, the left side is a bit darker than the right, so I definitely advise you to take this route. And the game also reminds us that you know staying in darkness is kind of a good idea when you're playing Splinter Cell, just in case you weren't playing the first two campaign missions. I'm not sure why that's here. Maybe this was a demo level or something. And now let's sit back, relax, and get some nutritional advice from Mook One and Two. 
What I'm saying here, man, is you gotta go big or go home. True that. I started with these protein shakes, man, and I'm adding muscle mass like you wouldn't believe. That health food store crap is for pussies. I said go big. Shit, man. What are you eating? Pure paleo, bro. Nothing but meat, and I don't cook it. Don't want to damage that sweet protein. You hunt it all yourself? Go hunting every chance I get. You should come, bro. When you get out of here, maybe I will. As much as I like raw meat, folks, I would not take that man's advice if you're not cooking your deer and whatnot, because you'll probably get worms if you do so. All right, and here's where we first need our sticky EMP. So let's slap one right there. And run like hell. Whoa! It was just the wind, I swear to God. We're in Chicago. It's a thing. Any sign of the hostages? No, just untrained idiots with cheap gear. Still think this is a blacklist attack? We'll find out. And these goggles are absolutely terrible. I can't see a goddamn thing. Hopefully you guys can. There's also a lot of man-sized vents in this area, folks. There's one across the hall, one to our right here that you can't see, and there was one as we came down the stairs. The, ro the route I'm showing you, though, is the good route, though. Take this route. It'll save you a lot of headaches. Hop, hop. Let's go ahead and close that. Also get you lots of exploration points. And now we're in the middle of a hostage situation. I hear civilians. Copy, Sam. Now, you can easily take these guys out if you please. It's not going to dock you too much on the stealth score, and you can still get Ghost Mastery, but I'm actually going to go through here without touching anybody. Wait for this guy to move, because I want to jump on that pipe. There he goes. Got to be careful here. I want to make sure I jump to the pipe and not over the railing. It is a concern, because this game sucks. Just keep moving. Definitely not hard to take out these guys. Plenty of aerial takedowns you can do. You want to live? You do exactly what I tell you to do. You want to die? You pretend to be a hero. You play a hero. You know what happens? You die. And you die. And you die. And you die. Because I'm going to kill every single fucking one of you if I have to. Anyone still want to be a hero? Or is that C4 we stopped you getting a little heavy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might be. So you all just stay there and don't talk and don't fucking move or I end you. All of you. What a jovial character. We'll just leave him to his hostage business. We don't need to bother him, right? I've got eyes on the hostages. They're strapped with C4 and crowding the tunnel. That's convenient. I'm heading down. What about the hostages? No time. We need to figure out what's really happening here. Now. We can't just leave them there. I just did break. wireless. Can we jam them? Briggs, can you jam the frequency from the chopper? Countermeasures can block the signal, at least until our fuel runs out. All right. Let's just go ahead and sit tight for a second. Switch over to my stun gun. There's a high-value target in the area, folks. And there's also all kinds of nooks and crannies over here. This is an area where you need to be very, very careful when pressing the space bar, because there's so many things that you can vault over and leap onto. See, like right there, it was eight. Sam, could you please not piss me off? See, this is exactly what I mean. I had it, so I was going to jump over that. But the game's all, nope. You didn't want to jump over that after all. Oh my goodness, you, you went the right way. Good job. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay, that wasn't too much of a detriment. We're actually, our timing's not terrible. It's just annoying when that happens. And there's our, our high value target. Go ahead and get him. And let's tag and bag him. Not a big problem at all. Lots of pipes you can use in this area, if you please. Alright, now we need to sit tight for a moment, because there's a big old heavy. You saw him earlier. Also, notice the change in decor, folks. Remember that cheery little mall we were in before with Ferris wheels and Christmas music? Isn't this a nice change of pace? Mm -hmm. No one's the wiser. All right, now slide awkwardly into a cutscene. Okay, Sam, you're entering an old sewage tunnel. It looks like it heads towards a, a water filtration plant. Oh, what's that noise? Could be their actual target. Oh, look at you! Aren't you cute? Are you gonna try to leap on me and explode? 
Yeah, these things really aren't that scary, even outside of cutscenes. No, the drone isn't responding. Hang on. Sending another one. Seems to be a bullet hole in there. Where'd that come from? Your men are after the water filtration plant. Why? Go to hell. Ah! Ah, I'll tell you. Biological weapon. They're using a disease. To poison the water supply? How do I get the bombs off the hostages? The code. Flash drive on my belt. I, I told you everything you wanted. I helped you. You can't kill me, please. You know what? You've been such a good sport that I'll let you rot in jail for the rest of your life, okay? There you go. Grim? We heard it all, Sam. Give me a flash drive. Connecting it to my offset now. Relay it to Chicago SWAT. Tell them thanks for their patience. Sam, surveillance footage shows the van Charlie tagged at the airport arrived here an hour ago. Shit. I'm too late. We don't know that yet. Hurry. Some weird graphical glitches there. Nothing to concern yourself with. I had these really bad ones when I was test running this level in the mall. I couldn't see jack shit even in the menus. There were polygons everywhere. All right, so that was our fir first drone operator, folks. We're about to meet our first one outside of a cutscene. And like I indicated, they are not that scary. I mean, when you think about chaos theory, think about the UAVs they had in this one. This is what we have in Blacklist. Those goddamn UAVs and Chaos Theory had miniguns on them. Get the fuck up there. Now you're going to see how fast we can go with our new duds. It's ridiculous. I still have to be concerned about sand, but not when I'm this far going? away. Everything's going according to plan. There's a pathogen in the water. And there's our drone operator. You know what? You have a sticky MP. Everything's down. Sam, I think I've got confirmation this is the engineers. Why? The flash drive. It's using a variant of triple DES military-grade encryption protocols. It's a direct match to the encryption used by Sadiq and Mirawa. Good work, Charlie. They're using 3DS in this time and age? What the <laughs> fuck? Everyone who's technically inclined should know that's a terrible encryption protocol. It's been broken for, like, decades. It's ridiculous. I don't understand why you'd use it. All right, slow down. We're actually not at the checkpoint just yet. We have to get past this fella first. All right, let's just sit tight and wait. You'll notice I switched back to my uh, sticky noisemakers. We'll be using those eventually, maybe. Hopefully not. They're a just-in-case device. Come on, Sam. There you go, buddy. Stop the attack. I can see you closing on the filtration plant. There's roof access if you can get up there. Not a big problem. Nice night. Good visibility. Police snipers are probably seeing the same thing. Relax. This off's gonna be over soon and we'll be gone. I'm not relaxing till we're out of the country. First step of getting out of the U.S. is getting out of here. The sooner we take that step, the better. Now, this will be my first light harmed in this playthrough, so there you go. You want some help with that? It's okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Change the bulb? Bulbs out. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> okay, let's move. Move, 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 move. Keep moving. There are definitely better t uh, patterns that you can have here. That one was one of the, the worst ones, but it's not terrible, as you just saw. All right, and if it wasn't evident, we have a laptop in the area. I also did not point out that dead drop that we just picked up. But I'm sure you guys picked it up. Or saw it. Do you see me? I don't think so. Hack this laptop. Now get the fuck out of here. Not too shabby, folks. Dealing with pros now. They did a clean takeout on the plant's security. It's not just the security, it's all the systems. I'm gonna have to unhack their hack to open that door, or you're not getting the skunk they're putting in the water. Not sure Work fast. Not sure what's up with the music at that portion. Why it decides to be that kind of weird sound. 
Go ahead and close this. All right, now this is a very Got technical it. region. You're good to go, Sam. You can get through here without using any any devices or gimmicks. Actually, I didn't need to use the AMP grenade on that drone operator earlier. That was just insurance. That was just insurance, just in case. These guys have a specific moment where you can get past, and if you're observant, you can find it. Slow down, Hart. We can do this. Alright, I'm already going slow. That's good. Alright, the far guy, we need him to turn away, and then we're good to go. There he goes. All right. Now for the last portion. Bio agent at two locations. I'll take care of them. We can keep the contaminated water inside the plant. I can try and shut down the outflow valve. Do it. We've got 10 minutes before the levels in the water hit critical. Yep, we have 10 minutes, folks. I bet you I can do this in three, though. If everything goes to plan. You definitely want to go towards site B first. Because it is the harder of the two locations. And this is where you may need sticky noisemakers. Okay, calm it down, calm it down, calm it down. Slightly different pattern than I'm used to here. Not used to that heavy beam down here, but it should be alright. First pump's offline. Charlie, how's the valve looking? I don't know. The guy's good. Keeps locking me out, but I got a few more tricks up my sleeve. Okay, I didn't need to use a sticky noisemaker there. Sometimes you'll have the guy on the bottom path to come towards you. And that's when you want to be ready. I actually did not mean to vault over the side there either. But oh well. Alright, we'll use this nice little vent here. It's very obscure. I only knew it was here because I found out where it was going the other way from A to B. It's a little more obvious from this side, as you'll see. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop. So many hops. Alright. So we have a heavy up there, and we also have a guy in white. And all that stuff is just going right in the water, right next to us. I hope we don't catch it, Sam. No dumping. Viol violators will be prosecuted. Oh, shit. I think we have a prosecution going on here. All right, is he moving? It appears that he is. Do. There we go. We'll just stab the LCD screen. Second pump's offline. Grim. It's good work, but it's too late. Yep, we're not done yet. Shit. What now? Soon, soon, soon. The pathogen's already at infection levels in the water, and the main outflow is still open. Maybe not. Look, he's locked me up from the valve, but I've unlocked the manual override. Get there, and you can shut it by hand. On my way. Okay, we just need to get in here. All right, we've done it, folks. The level is over. <laughs> Don't worry about getting out of here. We just need to turn off this valve and all the terrorists will magically evaporate. I swear to God. We also did this in three minutes. Less than three minutes. Two minutes and uh, 43 seconds. I think we can officially call American consumption a failure. Good work, Sam. I don't know, about, I don't know about a failure. It was spectacular as far as I'm concerned. Oh, my goodness. I actually Iron Man that shit. I'm happy. 41 undisturbed hostiles. And of course, one stealth knockout for our, for our HVT. Oh my god, look at all those points. So many points. And of course, we have no panther numbers, because I did a good job. And no assault numbers, because I didn't utterly fuck up. Now, for the time, how fast was that? Pretty damn quick, 1534. Almost got a thousand points right there. Hidden pass bound, goddamn eight. <laughs> this level definitely rewards uh, exploration, folks. Oh man, twenty-four thousand two twelve. Account balance has been updated. And almost four hundred G's for our reward. 
giving us a half a million dollars. The engineers redirected a shipment from a level 5 CDC containment facility at Northwestern. Weaponized plague bacillus. Yeah, that would have pretty much wiped the whole city out. You locate a cure yet? Your test results came back negative for infection. Just Let's got go. the official all clear from Chicago. Hey, you're welcome. Don't pat yourself on the back, Charlie. We got lucky. We slapped together a mission based on hunches. You're right. That's why we won't waste time playing defense. We have another option? Yeah, we don't know where defense they are, Sam. is what Sadiq's expecting. What he's planning for. That's why we go on the attack. Apparently, uh, magically, we do know we where they are. Targets, and we can't afford to split our focus from the blacklist. We keep playing catch up with the engineers. Sooner or later, we're gonna miss. We hunt them down. Force them to make mistakes. Well, let's just pull some leads right out of our ass, Sam Fisher. All right. And now the game will not let me do anything except talk to Charlie. I can't talk to Briggs. I can't talk to Grim. I can't go see Coben. I have to go see Charlie because we are required to get sonar goggles at this point. Hey. Also, here's the recon data. I can pick that up, so I will. And I'm not sure what the situation is with these because they seem to be broken. We were supposed to find one in the infirmary after uh, the insurgent stronghold. I'm not sure why we're getting these things in advance, but apparently the next one is the private estate and has a dock and some kind of forest area. So that's neat. All right, let's go talk to Charlie and get our sonar goggles. Charlie? Hey, Sam. I, uh, I just took a peek at Vic's medical file. You hacked Walter Reed? Wow, well, it's only hacking if you have to try. Charlie. Right, the news. Uh, it's good stuff. He's doing better. Even opened his eyes for a couple of minutes. I, I thought you'd want to know. Thanks for the heads up. You know what, Charlie? I'm starting to warm up to you. Let's go ahead and grab those goggles, though. Gonna cost me so much money. Oh, or not. Yeah, if you uh, wait till this point, folks, you can get them for absolutely free instead of 10 G, or 100 Gs, I should say. So it's in your interest to do so. You don't really need them until this point anyway, right? So yeah, we'll go ahead and buy it. Our balance will be the same after we purchase. And now we have a Polaroid camera strapped to our, strapped to our heads. That's great. That's definitely helpful. Thank you, Charlie, for making this. That's all for now. If I snag anything else, I'll ping you. I, I, do I have an IP address on this offset? I'll just listen to my packets and when you're pinging me, I'll know, okay? Before I forget, let's go talk to Coben. Cause he's my favorite. I don't want to neglect him. Coben, your best friend's back. I know you've been lonely. Coben. You know, I'm surprised you haven't thrown me through any plate glass windows yet. Well, there's none on the me plate. Me too. Yeah, it's almost like I'm uh, part of the team now. Don't get ahead of yourself. You haven't been that helpful. He's like, come on, I just want to be one of the dudes. Kobe, don't you give me those puppy... Oh, you're, you're doing it, you're doing it. The puppy dog eyes. Sorry, Kobe. I think we're good. Well, it's always a pleasure, Fisher. Say hi to the Ice Queen for me. Fuck yes. I'll try to. I don't think I have an option for that, but I'll try. All right, we'll talk to Briggsy. What are you hearing about Chicago? From Langley? Nothing good. They wish we'd gone to Dallas? They love the results, but they hate being cut out of the loop. So, saving the city costs us a couple company friends. Look, I don't like being cut out of the loop either. And the mission would have went a lot smoother if I'd been on the ground. I and don't think so. Next time. I didn't touch 41 dudes, motherfucker, and they barely knew I was there. Other than, you know, lights suddenly going out. So I don't want to hear your shit of how it could have gone smoother. That's all for now. Sure. I'll be here. Keep me posted. All right. And now for the Grim says. Ice Queen. Coben says hi. Hey, Grim, what have you got for me? Not a lot of time. Going on the offensive was a great idea, but there's a lot of records to go through. Charlie, any help with this? He is when I can keep his eye on the prize, so about half the time. So 50% more than thought. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Grim. If there's nothing else, Sam, I've got a few leads that need follow-up. Okay. And now, we'll of course close it off by talking to our daughter.
Hi, sweetie. Oh my god, Dad. What happened? My feet's full of crazy stuff coming out of Chicago. Was that you? Did you... I'm fine. Everything's fine. You might want to get some bottled water just in case. You wouldn't believe how nuts things are right now. I mean, yeah, warm was one thing, but nobody really thought they'd actually, you know, hit us here. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm trying to avoid watching the news. It's getting worse out there. It's not as bad as it could have been, trust me. Not the point, Dad. It happened. Here. Everyone thinks you're gonna be the next target. I'll let them speculate. People don't make sense when they're scared. They panic. You taught me that. So now you've got people calling for martial law and a crazy guy in Toledo setting fire to a community center and stuff like that happening everywhere. All right. All right, just... be careful. All right, if you need help... I know who to call. I'll be fine. Talk to you soon. All right, now that Sarah's brought us down, I guess it's time to say goodbye, folks. Next time, we're probably going to do some kind of side op, since that's the pattern I've gotten myself into. Which one's it going to be? It could be Grimm's DLC mission, or maybe I'll try a new one. You'll have to find out next time.